in the last video, we told Music B to scan our library folder for music. But we have nothing in this folder. So what we're going to do is move our music, all of these music files, into the library folder. And then we're going to open Music B. And we'll go up here to the top or this menu. And we'll go to Edit edit preferences and you want to go down to library under monitored folders we can choose which folder for music beat to scan upon startup or continuously scan so I'll choose my folder choose music library hit OK notice that it will be activated upon restarting of the program. I also want to set my playlist folder down here. And again, my playlist folder is here directly under music. There is nothing here. By default, Music B stores its playlist under Music B Library Playlist. And this is where you would see all your playlists. But I like to have my playlist directly in my music folder. So I can easily get to them and modify them manually if I need to. So instead of playlist here, I'm going to check this little box and I'm going to say, we're going to look for music, playlist, and select that. You can also choose the format for your playlist. By default, MusicB uses its own music playlist format called MVP. It allows for more features specific to MusicB in these playlists. You can also use M3U. I tend to use M3U the most, so I'll pick that. And it'll warn you that it's going to have restricted functionality. It won't support custom fields or virtual files. I'll say OK on that. And I'll also choose to place my exported playlist in that folder as well. So we'll go to Music, Playlist. And actually what I'll do is I'll create a folder in that call exported playlist. That way I can distinguish it from my main playlist. And we'll hit apply and save. Now I will restart Music B. And we will notice that our music that is that were moved into the library folder has been, been populated here in my player. So now whenever we start up Music B, it's going to automatically scan that folder for new music that I may place in there. And it will also scan my playlist folder. Again, that is going to edit preferences and you want to go down to library. You can also add additional folders here. So if you have another folder on your system or maybe a network drive where you have some music files, you can add those as well. You can also choose to exclude certain folders. And here you can choose to include video files and ignore tracks that are of a lower side. We will look at these options in more detail in future videos. For now, just note to add folders for music to scan, you want to add them here under monitored folders. And you can choose where Music B should scan playlists under playlists. In the next video, we'll be looking at Music B the interface and giving you a grand tour of the application.